Got him. Oh my god. There's a freaking gate on this. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> I got the ball, boys. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. I'm so excited to bring this one to you guys today because a lot of people have asked for it and they've actually asked for this video for like the past couple of years and I have yet to do it. I have no idea why, but I was like, I'm gonna go do it today because people will take a lot of value out of this video and it's cool because no one does it. Like, no one, like, I have a boat, guys. I fish on a boat a majority of the time, but I try to bring you guys pond fishing videos, pond tip videos, and now I'm gonna start trying to do bank fishing videos off the lake because I think that'd be really cool. If you guys wanna see some more of these, be sure to pepper the like button up and also stay tuned to the end of the video so you get a lot of value out of this and hopefully we'll catch a big bass today. But let me explain what we're doing. If you guys look out here, we are at a marina today. We are at a beautiful marina and we're going to be doing some bass fishing. So I have about three poles rigged up on the baits that I think are going to work today. Um, as into the conditions, as you guys can tell, very cloudy outside. I mean, very cloudy. It's complete opposite of bluebird skies today. Let me check the temperature out here so I could tell you. It is not, it's not really cold at all. It actually feels pretty good. It's 53. It's so 53. We don't have too much wind. Let's see what it says. Eight mile an hour wind and it's very cloudy. So pretty decent conditions. We're gonna see what we can do. Lake Lanier is a whole different animal, people. Lake Lanier is a lake where all the fish, especially this time of year, it's a spotted bass fishery, but there are some largemouth here as well. So the fish pretty much this time of year get in ditches and they go really deep. So when you're on a boat, it is a lot easier to catch them. So with me analyzing that and being like, you know what, the spots are gonna be out deep. I was like, where can I go where I can catch largemouth? And I came to this marina today. I know there's a big population of largemouth. I've caught a lot here. There's some big ones here. I know a few tournaments have actually been won out of here a few years back um, from some big largemouth. And I just know that they live here. So, and largemouth are totally different than spots. You know, they they don't mind going up shallow. They can stay shallow year round. That's just how largemouth are. Spotted bass are a lot more sensitive to the weather and on the time of year and conditions as in water temperature and that whole deal. So come over here and I'll show you guys what we're working with. So as you guys can tell, we got all these, you know, boat docks right here. This is a whole marina. There's going to be a ton of fish under those docks. Fish live under the docks. I mean, year round, you can catch fish on docks. Um, when I usually fish docks is usually when the sun's high and the fish can obviously hide under there and get up under those docks. But fish are under there year round, even every single day, even when it's cloudy like today. And as you guys can tell, there's a lot of rocks right here and there's gonna be fish on these rocks. I already know, 100%. If you guys didn't know, comparing spotted bass to largemouth, largemouth love, you know, wood. They love cover that lay downs in the water, um, trees and that whole deal. Spots, they love rock. That's pretty much how you can, that's how you can, you know, spread them apart. Spots really, really love rock. Largemouth really, really love wood. Does that mean a largemouth's not gonna be on rock? That does not, that does not mean that, but spots love rock, largemouth love wood. All right, spots on Lake Lanier love brush piles. They hang out on brush piles out deep and you can catch a lot of good fish, very productive way, um, as long as you're fishing at the right time of year. But that being said, there's a lot of largemouth back here. So I know there's gonna be some tucked in these rocks still. There is some lay downs and some trees over on this other side. I cannot fish that from the bank. So I'm gonna be fishing, you know, off one of these docks. My, my dad actually has, my parents have a pontoon um, at one of these docks so I can actually get on one of these and fish. So that is gonna be great. We're gonna try to fish on these rocks. I just noticed there's a keep off rock sign. And yeah, this does not look like the best area to attempt to climb these rocks because I'd fall and break my butt and I, I really don't wanna fall and break my butt today. I wanna make a cool video for you guys. So I don't know, it's gonna be hard. We're probably gonna have to fish off the docks like this and cast parallel with the rocks, which is very important. We're gonna to talk to you later in this video and try to catch fish. But let's go ahead and go over to my rods. I'm gonna show you guys what I have rigged up. So I was trying to think, you know, it's winter time, what baits are gonna work good? What am I gonna be fishing here? And that's the most, you know, the biggest, the most important thing. So, you know, I got some docks. I tied me on a jig just in case. I got me some rocks. So I got me on a jig just in case. I got me a jerk bait, which I love throwing across rocks. I don't know if you guys saw my Lanier video off the boat, which was, Mm, week and a half ago, week, week ago, something like that. Uh, I killed him on a jerk bait, caught some largemouth, and then I had this little DT6. This is actually an older version. Um, that's gonna be great on these rocks as well. So we got two moving baits that we can work past here. We got the crankbait, which we're gonna be consistently reeling, looking for that active fish. And then that jerk bait is something that we could actually pause and fool around with if we, if we want a slower profile. And then I have this old jig just to slow down if I have to. And um, I can throw on the rocks. I can skip this under the docks and do a little bit of everything with this thing. So that's that's gonna be a major key today if the fish aren't wanting to eat those moving baits. But I got one more bait. Now let me grab it real quick. 
So this is my last bait. I do not have it on a pole because I didn't have enough rods with me today to put it on, but we are gonna fish it today. Um, I'm gonna break down the water and show you guys how I'm fishing today, and then we're gonna move over to this. And I'll explain that later in the video, why I'm not starting off with it, and why I'm gonna start off with you know the crankbaits and that whole deal. But uh, that's gonna be a killer today too. This thing catches so many fish. My favorite bait out here. And we're gonna set it on my tire. Let's just pray that I don't forget that and I actually use this today, that'll be okay. So let's go ahead, grab our pole, start fishing. And I'm gonna show you guys why I'm starting with what I'm starting with and that whole jazz and deal and that whole deal and stuff. Pepper the like button if you guys wanna see some more videos like this. So I was actually wanting to fish from here, but I just realized that I just don't even know if I could get a hook and a fish from here. I mean, look how freaking high I am from that rock. I don't know, this is a, uh, <laughs> pretty risky I'm sure we'll do it a few times today but I think we're gonna start down here at the base of it and just cast towards it because when it's important when fishing riprap walls like this to cover a lot of water and be really effective is to throw parallel and if I'm throwing parallel I'm gonna be so high I just don't know if I can get hooks in a fish so I'm probably gonna start down here and throw to it and see how that works so this is what we're gonna start off with this little jerk bait this is a mega bass 110 plus one so it's gonna go slightly deeper as you guys can tell by the little lip on that thing it's a little natural color it's got a little bit of translucent as well which is, seems to be great on the near I'm gonna start fishing these rocks right here I'm kind of very I'm very excited for this I usually fish from the boat or I'm pond fishing this is a whole different story and I'm kind of excited I want to see if we can hook a big largemouth today. That would just be amazing. Ooh, that would be good. But I'm just going to start fan casting this bank with this jerk bait. We're going to start off with this and see if we can get a big bass. Thing is they roam so hard in these clouds get out. So it's good to fish these rocks, but the fish are probably going up and down and looking for bait. So everybody, I just switched over to this old jig right here. I was throwing a jerk bait and I covered all this water up here on these rocks. And now I'm switching over to, you know, a slower bait that I can really work on them, really break down these rocks on the side and see if these fish just aren't that active and that I pick up something that's a little bit slow moving. And a jig on rock is a great bait, especially this time of year. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but when the sun gets up, which today it's not, when it beams on this rock, boat ramps, anything with like concrete or rock, it actually heats up a lot quicker. So. That time, this time of year, fishing rock can be really productive if you hit it the right day. Today is really cloudy, which especially on Lanier and any other lake is going to make this fish more scattered and they're going to be roaming a lot more. So my goal is to, you know, work down these rocks and these fish are just going to be roaming the bank, looking for bait fish, looking for stuff to, to chew on. And I'm hoping that, you know, we can run into a few that are actively feeding. Oh my God, he was freaking behind it. Oh man, he's about two and a half pounds. Let's see if we can get him to bite. Oh man, he swirled right behind it. He never hit it, but I, golly. All right everybody, my main purpose of this video is to teach you guys how to catch fish off the bank and find productive areas. So my biggest, my, my biggest tip overall, I have a few that I really want to give you, but the biggest tip is wherever you're fishing, whatever lake, I don't know if you guys know, Lake Lanier is a very hard, very tough fishery. But if you can find marinas, because the biggest thing is, you know, when you're fishing from the bank, you can't just go to any bank on the lake and catch fish. Just like if you're on a boat, like it takes a lot of trial and error to really find those fish. But there's one place on the lake that has one, a lot of cover, a lot of structure, and this is a marina. You know, a marina is known to have fish. Every lake I've been to, I catch fish in marinas. I mean, they just, fish live in marinas. Um, and sometimes a lot of big fish, but as you guys can tell, you know, there's rock right there. You got a ton of docks. I mean, you have all this cover that these fish can hide around. But most of the time, this marina right here is actually fairly deep, which is perfect for what I'm doing. If you're looking for a location to fish on a lake, be sure to go look on your map, 
find a good marina that has a lot of water that you can cover that maybe has some riprap or some laydowns, whatever it is, and go fish that. Like that's where you guys need to target to fish. Obviously, you can go find some other areas on a lake to catch fish, but marinas would be where I would start and it'd be your best bet to finding fish or even by bridges. You know, bridges are good as well. We'll film another video on that, fishing by bridges. Those are all good areas that you can really find some fish. So I was throwing this crankbait. I just said, screw it. I was like, screw this. We're gonna start paralleling this. And I actually did have a bite. He came up and he tried to eat it and he just swirled on it. He was like two and a half pounds. He's actually a fat spot. And this is kind of what I wanted to talk about. So you guys can see right here, I can't walk down these rocks because obviously I'd fall and die and break my butt. So that's just, that's out of the equation. So if you're fishing from the bank, like if you're actually on the bank, not standing on a dock, say you're just standing on the end of those rocks, throwing around all around here. I highly suggest starting with a bait that you can cover, you know, parallel to those rocks. So say I started off with this crankbait. You're going to want to throw parallel with those rocks and try to catch as many fish as you can on the bank. After you throw this and cover the water, pick up your jig, throw it on those rocks a little bit. And then after you fished all those rocks that are closest to you, work your way out some more. And by that, I mean, after you fish, you know, parallel close to the bank, start throwing out from the bank and start fishing that way. The reason I say that is because if you walk on the end of these rocks and you start casting out and you hook a fish out here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna catch this fish and you're gonna spook all the fish on the bank. So it's very important to right when you get on those rocks to not start throwing out, but to actually cover you know, on the bank first because those fish are gonna get spooked if you hook a fish out here and drag it by them. So that's very, very important. That is, that is a very key step to catching more fish you know when you're on the bank because if you just threw out and caught a fish and then got them in and you spooked all the fish on the bank you could have caught five fish you know what i'm saying instead of just catching that one you could have caught five so when you get down there make sure you fish closest to you and then start working your way out in the column so right here fish the rocks then fish like halfway out maybe with a jig or something then maybe you pick up this fish head you want to cast it all the way out all the way out over here and then you're really covering the water, you're laying it down, and you're not spooking the fish. That is probably the biggest tip that I can give you for bank fishing, especially lakes. Very, very important, very, very important to catch a lot of fish. So um, what I'm gonna do here, I've been covering water with this bait. So I've been standing on the docks, I've been throwing parallel with that bank, taking that rock. I've actually been sticking my pole through these little things right here so I can actually bring my bait low to where I'm hitting those rocks. And as you guys can tell on the bill right there, uh, it's, it's pretty knocked up for me, you know, keeping contact. That's very important with the crankbait, by the way. And uh, once I parallel those rocks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fish head and I'm gonna start fan casting out. So pretty much I'm gonna be covering more of the deeper water with this bait. So we have two moving baits that we can cover a lot of water with. Now let's go do it. See if we can catch a fish. It is a very tough day today. That's why I, I, I just wanna at least catch one for you guys, but I wanted to make this because this is my first one ever and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna continue to work down this bank work down these rocks and see if we can catch fish on either this crankbait or the old fish head spin. We're gonna take this little DT6, cover a little bit more water parallel on this rock, and then we're gonna move to that fish head. Let's see if we can catch this fish that I actually had bite me a second ago. I'm keeping off this bank just slightly to, um, on these deeper rocks. Note that this crankbait only goes about six foot. And uh, I'm bringing my rod low because of how high I am. I wanna make sure I'm keeping contact knocking those rocks is so important with a crankbait i've seen a lot of people just throw a crankbait and just reel it in and they're not you know keeping contact with any rocks and hitting the cover that they're fishing and that's that's probably the big step to a crankbait is keeping contact with that rock or bottom whatever you're fishing uh oh that's not good that's not good not good not good not good Stuck behind that rock. That's one thing that might suck about what I'm doing. Just had to break it. This is just not working out for me today, guys. It's really not. I, I broke off my jig, broke off my crankbait. Totally layering down to you know the baits I can use. And I guess we're moving over to this $25 jerk bait. Let's pray that we don't lose this guy. Another bait I can work right next to these rocks and hopefully catch one. I really want to catch one for you guys. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Just covered these rocks parallel, up shallow, bumping the rocks with the jerk bait and rest in peace with the crankbait. Now we're gonna move to the fish head and we're gonna start working our, our way out. So I'm not gonna throw this on the rock. So I'm gonna throw this bait way off the rocks, out deeper, and I'm gonna slowly work this thing on the bottom. Fish head is an amazing bait this time of year and I'm excited to throw it. If I can catch anything today, I would love it to be on the fish head. Look how slow I'm reeling this bait on the bottom. 
is our last chance, people. This is my favorite one to fish off of. I was saving it for last. Guess we're gonna see if it's gonna happen. Oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? I was just saying this is our last chance. It's this angle right here is, is booty. I was afraid of that right there. I was, that was the one thing I was afraid of and I finally got a bite and it haunted me. I had them. I just couldn't get the hooks in them with this tall angle that I'm hanging over this. This is the best part. Like I just said, this is my favorite part. Oh man, that hurts really bad. We're gonna continue, man. We're, we gotta catch one right here. Oh my God, there's fish chasing bait on that other dock. I see it from over here. I'm breaking the rules. I shouldn't have made this cast because I don't know I'm going to get them back up. There's fish chasing bait down here. Whew. Fish chasing bait. I just ran over here. Got him. Oh my God. There's a freaking gate on this. Oh my God. Uh, no, 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 no. Where's he at? Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I got the ball, boys. Oh. <laughs> boys, we did it. We freaking did it right there. It's a largemouth just like what I was talking about. There's a lot of largemouth here. Oh man, I'm so happy. This little guy just made me so happy. I felt him hit it. And uh, I felt like the fish are starting to feed just because the sun's starting to go down and it's starting to get dark. And this is when they're starting to fire up because I noticed I took off over here full sprint because I saw some bait. And then I saw him and he just, he just whacked me. We're gonna throw a few more casts and then I really got to get out of here because I got to go meet my title sponsor. So. But uh, that's awesome. There we go, guys. We got us a fish. I'm so pumped. He's little, but I don't know. I don't really care. That's awesome. I almost, you see that little gate right there? I can't go past that. That's where I was going to run to land him. And when I hooked him, I realized, like, I can't run through that. It's locked. So I had to lift him up. Thank God he's not big. But, man, I'm so happy about this fish. I guess I, ha I don't have a choice but to softly drop him. All right. This is all I can do. We swimmed off. All right, let's go. All right, everybody. That is the end of the day. And holy freaking smokes, what a time. That's, we weren't out here long at all. Um, about an hour, that's all I really had. And the sun's still not down and I could be fishing when the fish are actually biting, like right now. Um, I talked to one of my, a couple of my buddies, like I said during the video, and it's been a morning bite and obviously late, you know, right when the sun's about to go down, this fish are really chomping, which is right about now. This is when it's starting. This is when I could really catch them. That wasn't the main purpose of this video. The main purpose wasn't for, oh, Noah, I'm going to go out there, go catch them. That's not what it's about. It was about me teaching you guys, or, or at least me explaining, you know, how I bank fish from lakes and, you know, how I did way when I was younger, like even before I had a boat, because my parents had a bigger boat out here at this exact marina. I used to always fish off, you know, these docks and I'd fish the rocks and this, this and that. And there's a lot of fish that live around here. And I even come every once in a while and fish this place out of my boat. And there's just a lot of fish in this area. It just wasn't the right time when we hit it. But if you take some of the value that I told you guys in this video, go apply it to your home lake or wherever you're at, wherever you want to bank fish and go out there, you know, fish some of the cover around marinas and about how I was saying, you know, layer the water column, like fish close to the shore and then fish out just so you don't spook those fish. That'll help you catch a lot more fish in general. Um, go look for some bridges, that, especially bridges that have rock on it. There's some other amazing areas that you can bank fish from. If you guys want to see a video on me coming out here and doing a legit fishing video rather than just me, you know, spraying my thoughts on bank fishing and what I do when I come out here, then let me know and pepper that like button up. And also if you enjoyed it, I'm sorry I didn't get to catch many fish, but that wasn't the purpose. I'm just glad we got that one. That was a close one. I almost lost him. Uh, no, 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 no. Where's he at? Oh! It was just the angle, the dock and how it's angled. And when you're throwing down like that, it's hard to get a hook. Back in some of the OG videos, I had this place to use the fish at. It was like on a hill and I would lose so many fish just because of the angle. And that's kind of like what happened today, especially on the jerk bait and like a crank bait when you're trying to let it get down. It just wasn't happening. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see another one, um, a bank fishing, let me know in the comment section below. This is my first one released on YouTube, but let me know. If you guys are new to 
the Kick and Their Bass TV family. Be sure to click that subscribe button. That means so much. New clothing line is dropping this upcoming week, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you.